Hello, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. I make videos all about teaching and tech. I also help people get hired with VIP Kid, GoGo -Go Kid, and OutSchool if you're interested in any of that. Please look down in the description box or you can email me at melissamills at rocketmail.com. We're going to jump right into today's video. I'm making a tutorial on how to set up Minicam. I am a previous PC user and I used to use OBS but I purchased an iMac and so now I'm using Minicam. I set it up just a few days ago and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to download Minicam. And to do that, you can go to minicam.com. You can click buy now and you can see the different options they have. They do have a free version. Um, you can choose for individuals if you have a business. You can also switch it from a yearly plan to a lifetime plan with this um, toggle box here. I personally purchased my Minicam from VIP Kid in their rewards six apple section. Okay, so let's assume that you have bought and purchased Minicam. I have the studio version. Um, if you work for VIP Kid, the price is much cheaper through VIP Kid, so I'd recommend that. Once you download it, it, you will still be using the free version, even if you purchased a version. So you need to turn your subscription on. So you're going to go to the settings, and then you are going to go to subscriptions, and I've already turned my subscription on, but you will need to turn your subscription on or you will be in the free version. After you do that, if you're on an iMac, you need to make sure that you've given Minicam the option to see your screen. So you're going to go up to the Apple, you're going to go to System Preferences, you are going to go to um, Security and Privacy, you are going to go to Screen Recording, and you're going to make sure that Minicam is checked. If it is not checked, your mini cam is just going to look like a black screen and you're not, it's going to look like you're not capturing anything. Okay. Okay. So once you have all that set up, if you're going to be using mini cam for an online classroom, the VIP kid classroom is square. So you're going to need to go right here and make sure that you are at 480p. Uh, it defaulted to 720p for me. So 480p is going to take away the black boxes. When you go into the VIP Kid Classroom, if you don't change this to 480p, uh, you will have black boxes there. So, um, I left my uh, box at 30, but I've seen some other people change it to a lower number, but 30 worked for me just fine. Okay, so as you can see here, I have what is called presets. And I have four presets because I use Google Slides as rewards. I have uh, one called me. It's just me and the camera. I have one for rewards. I have one for rewards draw. And I have one for props. I'm going to actually start all the way from scratch so that you can see how to set these up. So I'm just going to delete these. And you're gonna see a black box. You can click on the plus sign. You're gonna click on your camera. Ta-da! And that is the me uh, preset. You can title it something different. I just titled it me. You can see down here that it is preset number one. That is important for your hotkeys. Uh, hotkeys allow you to jump in between scenes. Okay, so I'm gonna add another preset for my rewards a rewards draw, and then a props preset. So let me get my rewards. I'm gonna move myself down here on the left side of my screen. On this iMac, I have 27 inch screen, so I'm pretty blessed with screen space. I'm going to use the Opera browser. You do not have to use the Opera browser, but that is the one I'm gonna use. I heard it's easier on your computer. So I'm going to just move it um, right here. This is going to be for my VIP Kid Rewards. And then I'm going to right click New Window. I'm going to put another Opera window on the bottom. 
and that's going to be for my props. You can flip flop those if you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to go into uh, Google Chrome and if you don't have a planner, you can get it from the Facebook group for Google Slides and VIP Kid. So I um, pulled some rewards and props out of here. I'm doing Command C, Command V. If you're on a PC, it's Control C, Control V. Okay, so these, I'm gonna open another tab with this plus sign here. Command C, Command V. These are my rewards. This is a prop. Command C, Command V. Okay. Okay, so now I'm all set up and I just need to capture these scenes. I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to name this Rewards. Okay, it's got an empty layer. I want it to be my rewards. I'm gonna to go to desktop, custom area. You'll see this box comes. I'm going to resize the box to the size I would like it. And I'm gonna hit the check mark. Yay! I'm gonna add a new layer. And this small layer, I'm gonna shrink it down, move it to the right. I'm gonna hit a plus sign. I'm gonna make that my camera so that you can see me. Okay, so now I've got scene one, me, and I've got scene two, which is digital rewards. You can see if I come over here, I can switch. So if I've got multiple classes, I can um, move between the screens. Okay, I'm going to make my third scene. So I'm gonna add another preset with the plus sign. I'm gonna call it rewards draw and hit create. Get uh, on it. Hit the plus sign, desktop, custom area. I'm going to capture the exact same area that I did before. And I am going to hit the check mark. I'm going to add a new layer, shrink it down. I like to be on the right side, but you can move it any, anywhere you want. Going to choose my camera. Okay, the reason that I did this is because there's a draw tool. And sometimes students pick a number when you're in the classroom and then they forget which numbers they've picked. So if I am on scene three, I can get a pencil. Let's say the student has picked number one. I cross out number one so they know that they've picked it. I jump to scene two so that my um, X isn't there anymore. And I click on number one and I show them the reward. Okay, so on scene three, I would have the X mark here. So I would need to make sure I'm on scene two for that. Okay, let's go back to our presets and let's set up our props. Hit a plus sign. I'm going to call it props. In the props, I need to capture the custom area. So just resize the screen to whatever you would like it to be. Oops, don't wanna move the whole box. Okay, hit your check mark. There it is. Add a new layer. It is going to be my camera. I put myself in the same spot. Camera. 
Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the hotkeys so you can jump between scenes because I have four, four scenes right now or presets if you want to call them. So go to your settings, go down to hotkeys, and then just toggle this on. So it says if I hit alt and number one, I would jump to scene one. Well, on an iMac, I don't have alt. I have an option button. So I'm using option one, that will jump me to scene one, option two, option three, option four. Okay, you could close that out. So option one, option two, I'm just jumping with my keyboard, option three, option four. While we're here, I wanna show you a couple more things uh, down here in the drawing. You can also add some text. You would have to turn it on. Turn it on. You can see down here at the bottom that a uh, bar came. I have a white box, but I can change the color. I could make an orange box. I could type VIP kid if I wanted to. You can type different things. You can center it. So you can play around with the text. Okay, you can also draw with that pen. You can go down here to the effects. Uh, I really like the effects. It comes with a lot of effects already there, but you can download extra. So it comes with folders and you can create a new folder if you want a new um, category. So let's go to animals. Let's say I want a butterfly. I can move the butterfly. He can fly around me. Um, I can just click off of him, he goes away. You can pretend like you, you can resize them. You can act like you're scared of them. It takes a little bit getting used to which way to face. So you can act like you're scared of the animals. You can act like they are chasing you. Ah! <laughs> you can turn that off there. If you wanna duplicate them, which means have more than one of the same thing, right here it says hold um, control and click, but I, on my iMac, I have to hold command and click. So they will copy on top of each other. So if I hold um, command and click, I'm going to get a bunch of fish and I just have to drag them. I can resize them. Woohoo! And click off of them. So those are a couple of things that you can do just to get you started with Minicam and digital rewards and props. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see all of my content. And happy teaching. I'll see you in the next video.